I'm starting to forget what it's like to be a grown-up. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video I am very excited. This is the type of news that I love covering. I feel like in culture, in politics, in whatever you want to pick, when one area pushes too far there is always a massive pullback and I'm hoping that that is what is happening with predatory microtransactions. Now I know loot boxes and kind of all these discussions really has ramped up because of Diablo Immortal. So I'm hoping that Blizzard took it too far and now we start seeing the pullback. Obviously, it's still really early on. Right now, it's just threats, but definitely a step in the right direction. You could hear the conviction. You could hear the energy in my voice. UK government will consider legislation unless game companies add parental controls to loot boxes. And this honestly seems like a no brainer. OK, like why is this not already established? And I don't even think parental controls honestly go far enough because a lot of the times we don't give kids enough credit like they are smarter than we think or they let on to be. And a lot of times they can get around this stuff either way. At least it's a start. So let's see what the UK plans on doing. The UK's Department of Digital Culture, Media and Sports, DCMS, has seen enough evidence related to the harm that loot boxes have on children and young adults and is now demanding that game companies act. Now, obviously, they are focused on children and young adults, people that are under the age of 18. A statement from the government body is calling on the entire gaming industry to impose parental controls on purchases for ga gamble boxes. I like how they put gamble boxes or face legislation. Now, I have the entire gov.uk press release on what they are actually saying. It's unbelievably boring. A lot more jargon and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I'm actually using this article because it's kind of the Cliff Notes version that gives us all the information we need. Here's the meat and potatoes. Here's the important part. This call to action was spurred by the DCMS request for evidence on the effects of loot boxes, which found that those who bought such boxes were more likely to experience gambling, mental health and financial harms, and that children and young people are possibly more susceptible to these effects. Go figure. The targeting of children that don't have a fully formed brain would experience problems with gambling, mental health, financial harm, and they're more susceptible to loot boxes. <sighs> when people target children, it makes me angry. Probably because I got four little ones. As a result, the governing body is calling on game devs to voluntarily limit lock loot box or lockbox sales unless approved by a parent or guardian, encouraging restrictions that Xbox has already applied. Thank you, Microsoft. I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. The DCMS is also planning to bring together gaming companies, platforms and regulatory bodies to develop protection measures. If these measures are deemed insufficient, the government is threatening that it will not hesitate to consider legislation or curtail the monetization practice. So obviously that's just a threat. You don't take us serious, then we'll just put forth legislation and there's going to be nothing you can do. When they say don't hesitate, I hope they stand by that word. Someone gives you crap, put in legislation. Game companies and platforms need to do more to ensure the controls and age restrictions that are applied so that players are protected from the risk of gambling harms, said Culture Secretary. Children should be free to enjoy gaming safely while giving parents and guardians the peace of mind they need. <sighs> nice job, UK. Nice job. Good start. I will take it. Now, this is my question for you. It's literally the whole video. This is my question for you. Is this enough? Is it a start or is it just smoke? They don't give a crap. They're just saying it. They're not going to do anything. Gaming companies aren't going to do anything. It's just going to get worse. I want to know your opinion. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but I just want to put it out there. I am hopeful. I feel like I see it in the forums. I feel like I see it in the comment sections. I feel like I see this on Reddit and more and more articles of the pullback. So whether it's just a small minority of us that are pushing back against these loot box and predatory microtransaction practices or not, at least the conversation's being had and I'm seeing it more and more, so I am hopeful. But I want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. Two asks for you at the end of this short video. Ask number one, if you think I deserve it, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. We have a goal of 20,000 subs on the year and we are 900 away, so please consider it. I think I've earned it just for, you know, that Jumanji original at the beginning. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 42 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have a weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to my VIP on Patreon, access to me and a special title. And depending on which level you sign up for, we could also make content together, stream together, lot there, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. <laughs>